guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm having spaghetti bolognese. Uh, it is my mum's bolognese. I think I think the dog's playing it and do it on purpose. Uh, yeah, it is my mum's spag bowl. Don't know if you can see that right in there. This is actual bolognese. I don't make. I don't make actual bolognese, I cheat, I just throw in the sauces and stuff. My mum's one, she has herbs in it, I just found a stalk in it while I was heating it up and mixing it. Um, she uses wine and stuff and yeah, I'm just like, so yeah, cheap with mine. Uh, we're having, it's not Parmesan cheese. It's hard grated Italian cheese, which is a Parmesan knockoff. So, yeah, it's like a fake Parmesan, but apparently, I haven't double checked it, but apparently it, it's illegal to call this Parmesan cheese by the company. It's not me, I can call it Parmesan cheese at home but it's illegal for them to label it as Parmesan cheese if it is not made in Italy or somewhere like that. So, yeah, uh, let's get this bolognese all over this. might save the rest I do love this pan oh, it's absolutely lovely I've got the full pan set I got it ooh, about three years ago and it's still going strong but I'm so happy I got I mean it, it, they weren't cheap uh, I think it was 150 quid I got it for. Uh, it's called a Michelangelo pan set. So if you want to find this yourself, it is a Michelangelo pan set. Oh, I'm so tired, man. So tired. Oh. You know what I don't get? Why someone in the comments keeps calling me Bob? Why does he call me Bob? My name's Dean. I looked it on my birth certificate and everything. But talking about trigger, uh, I was talking about triggers uh, on a previous video. One thing that does great on me like no one's business like oh my god is these prank channels who sit there annoy people of the public so it's not just a normal prank it's constant annoying them and then when the person turns around and reacts and goes for them and goes to punch them they're like it's a prank it's, it's just a prank look there's a camera it's just a prank and it's like oh is, is, am I supposed to stop then and go <laughs> You really got me, buddy. You really got me. No, like, ah, oh, yeah, really. As you could probably tell, but it really triggers me that that is also <clears throat> something that triggers me for sure. But oh. Oh, 
Yeah, if you can hear some noises in the background, it's either the fridge, which is just there, or it's the computer. Because after I muted the TV, I heard it and I was like, I was tempted to just unplug it, but I thought, eh, let me leave it. Hopefully it's not too bad. Because this, this mic picks up a lot, it really does. So you might hear it in the background. If, while I'm editing the video, if I can hear it and it is quite bad, I will sort out um, making sure the PC is off when I film next time. <clears throat> I love getting the cheap spaghetti. 20 pence for a packet of spaghetti. Super cheap. <clears throat> Like really super cheap and for me the spaghetti itself tastes the same on a personal level I don't know as much difference if any difference at all but one thing I have noticed is the cheap oh, is the cheap spaghetti is very starchy like wow that like the amount of starch in that water is crazy <clears throat> I have no idea about what videos I'm looking to film this week if 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 any like I don't know some of you can really tell um when I'm when I'm tired um you might notice it in this video I am I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I, I can literally fall asleep right here, right now. Like. Mm. Oh. I do have to get the recipe for the bolognese from my mum because she is getting older now so at least if I get the recipe then I can always make it even after she croaks hi mum But no, like, it, honestly though, yeah, I do need to start getting family recipes. And having them written down in a book somewhere. You know, the, the pie recipe my mum just done was good. 
um, the bolognese, how my mum does the bolognese. With all the ingredients she uses in a step by step of how to do it. Um, my sister's uh, cochinha recipe. Oh, recipe. <clears throat> you know what's funny? If I, I, I was actually contemplating applying to go on Come Dine with me, um, because I, I actually used to watch that, and I did used to really enjoy it. I haven't seen it in a long while, but yeah, I used to watch that and really enjoy it. And I always thought <clears throat> about um, if I ever got picked as a starter, as a starter, I would like to make my sister's coxinhas. Um, it's a Brazilian snack thing. They are so good. Like, oh my God. For the main, Potentially a Chinese chicken curry. Um, I don't know about dessert because <laughs> I don't really eat a dessert. Um, so I, I, I don't know. Maybe some baklava. Oh, but that is a lot of work for baklava. Or baklava. I don't know. Some people call it a baklava, or some people call it baklava. But yeah, that. I don't know. That's a lot of work just just to make. Now, if I was to apply for it, what I would do is I'll make the uh, coxinha. Um, <clears throat> and then as the main, I will get load, like I'll use the bread maker to make some dough. And then um, I should have, hopefully in the summer-ish time, I should have like a pizza oven in the garden, so for dinner I can get like all the all the different toppings, pepperoni, chorizo, like loads of different vegetables, sweet corn, ham, all different different cheeses and stuff, and then they could just make their own pizza. Because apparently you got to do something entertaining as well. And yeah, there's there's nothing about me that's entertaining. You know, so I, I don't know. As soon as this is finished, I'm going straight to bed. Like, oh. Oh. 
My thoughts and prayers go out to both families of the accident in Yorkshire, to the child who has lost their parents in that crash, and the motorbike rider and a pillion passenger as well. I don't know the ins and outs. Um, I don't know. You know, by the time you're watching this, maybe more information come out that one of them might have been drinking or whatever. Uh, as I am filming this now, I only I've only heard about the news a few hours ago. So shout out, or not shout out, but you know, sending my best wishes to both families or all families affected. By that tragedy. If I am going to make this location my permanent location when I'm filming, I don't know if I should put one of the pictures behind here. However, you'd only see that half of it because I'm not going to put it down too low because this is where the kids normally eat anyway and there's normally two chairs here. So I don't want them to keep bashing into the picture because it's not in a frame or anything like that. Um, so I don't know whether I should still put it behind the sofa or one up here, one up in the other gap um, because there's a this wall here. This is the, <laughs> this is the little gap I've got here. There's an uh, even gap over the other side because it's boarded up now. But past this wall is a fireplace, and then it opens up. <clears throat> so it's all boarded up now, but potentially I can look at getting the fireplace unblocked. How nice would that be to have a little fireplace going? Have like a fur rug on the floor. How 80s am I? Snuggle up on the rug in front of the fire. And by 80s I mean 80s adult movies. <clears throat> I would never do that. Okay. Why you got to come to the one chair I'm sitting on and scratch it? Hey? Trying to get attention. Yeah, that's the one thing about not having, not sitting and filming on the sofa. You guys won't really get to see Baloo.
Right, I know you could probably see there's fur on this t-shirt. I did order some lint rollers. <clears throat> but yeah, I ordered it, expecting to get it the next day. Next day turns up. Oh, your order is delayed. And now it's like, we'll email you when we get this back in stock. It's like, oh my God. And I know there's loads of lint rollers you can get. I, the reason why I picked this one is because my mum's got this one and she says it's really good. I'd rather get one which has a lot of stick to it rather than something that just feels like a, a, a two day old sticker where you can, you can feel it where it used to actually have stick, but it's dried out. Right, I'm gonna call it there. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you on our next video. Whatever that may be.